what is known as the HERO Act, H-E-R-O, signed into law on August 8th of 2024, just the other day, which stands for Honoring, Empowering, and Recognizing Our Service Members and Veterans, which is a mouthful, but hey, it's a HERO Act. They want to make it sound cool. Includes over 30 provisions, highlighting about 30,000 female veterans and thousands of LGBTQ+. And food for thought, you can have your opinion on that. It doesn't matter. I'm not even going to share my opinion because it does not matter. But what I do want to do is dive into these provisions that help all veterans, not just females, not just the LGBTQ+. Plus community. Now, I'm, I'm going to pin the article up at the uh, pinned comment, as always. But here we go. Here's the article. And if you scroll down... This pretty much says what the HERO Act is, the 30,000 women got it. Scroll down and benefit expansion. Okay, here we go. So there's behavioral health treatment. Expands access to behavioral health treatment by allowing veterans to be reimbursed for visits to outpatient behavioral health and providers. So this is from the Massachusetts.gov website. So this is a state benefit completely outside of federal, right? The VA did something similar. This is completely outside of that. Increases the disabled veteran annuity from $2,000 to $2,500 phase in over two years and will be one payment annually. All right. Increases to $2,500 a tax credit for small business hiring chronically unemployed or low income veterans. I really like this one personally. Eligible veterans include those receiving SNAP benefits, chronically unemployed veterans, and unemployed service-connected disability veterans. That's a win in my book. I don't care who, who, who you are. Active duty buyback program extends the time frame for veterans in public service to use the active duty service buyback program from 180 days to 10 years. That is a huge change. That's awesome. Prevents the COLA cliff, so ensures that a, that, that a COLA and Social Security benefits will not affect veterans' eligibility, el eligibility for Chapter 115 benefits mid-fiscal year. Increases local flexibility for veterans' property tax exemptions. Allows municipalities to double property tax exemptions with local options and ties the annual property tax abatement amount to inflation i don't know if i said that right if it's municipalities or, or municipalities i'm not sure protects access to sales tax exemption ensures disabled veterans can use the purple heart specialty license plate for sales tax exemptions increases support for military connected students requires public school districts to provide support services to military connected students when a parent or guardian is called to active duty I'm curious to what that actually looks like. That sounds really awesome. Creates a military family advocacy advocacy program. Establishes a program to protect against child abuse on military installations. Commitment to inclusivi inclusivity and greater representation. Man, I cannot speak today. Broadens the chapter 115. So aligns state chapter 115 program definition within with the Department of VA, expands the scope of the Veterans Equality Review Board, includes discharges related to MST, PTSD, TBI, mental health conditions, or HIV, expands the definition of veteran dependent, supports more dependents based on the family court definition. Okay, so I assume that means like a, a, a adoption. Modernization of veteran services, codifies dental assistant benefits, Ensures veterans receive dental. Got it. Under uh, that state chapter 115. Medical assistance be benefits. Codifies authority for veteran cemeteries. Modernizes statute language. So talking about that state chapter 115. For gender neutral and inclusive language. Okay. Initiates a study on alternative therapies for mental health. Establishes a working group for study the benefits of alternative therapies such as psilocybin that's exactly what was so that's mushrooms um, for treating veterans mental health disorders tons of 
stuff is around this. I know it's in the NDAA. I'm not sure where that's at right now. That's at the federal level. Recognition, honoring our veterans. So hashtag flag requirement. Expands Gold Star Family Recognition. I absolutely love this for sure. Establishes the United States Space Force Day. Sure. And then establishes the United States Merchant Marine Day. Sure. There we go. So Massachusetts, it is the HERO Act, and the state is calling it groundbreaking, right? Absolutely groundbreaking. Breaking, but if you're mass, if you're in mass for sure, let me know in the comments. If you're not in Massachusetts, what do you think about these new changes to veteran benefits at the state level, not federal? This is within the state of Massachusetts.